Hello guys, Crisp here, welcome back to another video in this one my friends, I'm gonna be testing a GeForce RTX 4070 in Call of Duty Warzone 3. This one is the Founders Edition model of the card, we are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Powerups, GPU Z resizable bar is enabled and we got 12GB of GDDR6X memory to work with. And over on the left we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with half of its cores disabled or the CCD without the 3D V cache, so this works exactly like a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which is a very good pairing for a card like this. Finally, on the memory tab, we're using 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 megahertz RAM in dual channel CL30, and let's get right into it, shall we? Let's go over the settings first. I'm starting at 1080p resolution, and we're also gonna test this one at 1440p 4K, and maybe a little bit at 8K as well. And we're using the extreme graphics preset at the moment. <laughs> Uh, with Fidelity FX scans set to 50%, this is just sharpening the image, you lose like 1 or 2 FPS compared to native. No frame generation at the moment, I don't really recommend you to use this because it adds input lag and it's a first person shooter, that's a competitive one as well, but I'm also gonna try that out in just a little bit. Depth of field is turned off at the moment because I hate that. <laughs> okay, in this game it looks really bad. Everything else is set to the preset extreme. Again, on the view tab we're using 115 FOV, no motion blurs and film grains. Let's do this, finally! So, looking at the entire map from above, at extreme settings and native 1080p, we're close to 200 frames per second. A little bit lower than that, but it is pretty impressive, isn't it? That's why I say that this GPU is very, very good for, like, 1440p gaming, and I don't usually recommend it for 1080p, although... If you want to pair it with a 1080p monitor, yeah, of course you are going to achieve a very, very good experience. Lots of people dropping here, holy crap. Okay, we're playing Plunder, so if I die, I respawn, there's no problems, okay? I don't need to be super scared, but yeah, let's be careful here. I also got a, a little suppressor thingy on this weapon. I customized the weapon, finally, with a beautiful skin for uh, the, the thumbnails. Oh, yes. <laughs> the recoil control on this weapon is a little bit harder than what I'm used to. Uh, but we should be fine. See that, guys? Can still spot people at the distance here at 1080p. However, if I wasn't using the sharpening from Fidelity FX, I wouldn't really be able to spot them very well. Because... Again, at native resolution, this game is really, really blurry. Anyway, 1% lows are extremely good here with this combination of CPU and GPU. Even at extreme settings, you are looking at a competitive experience in this game, and that's just amazing to see. It's buttery smooth, zero stuttering here. VRAM is completely enough, of course. It says that it's using 10 gigabytes, but that's actually allocated VRAM. It's not actually utilizing all of that, so you shouldn't worry even at higher resolutions. One down. Oh, no more bullets on that. And look at my other weapon. Oh, yes. Very nice indeed. All right. Let me grab some bullets. Don't you have bullets for me, buddy? What the heck? I want that. No, no. Uh, please. No, no, no ammo. Okay. One of the most intensive things that you'll come across in this game is actually the water. Yes, guys, water in this game not only looks pretty terrible because of all of that noise. Look at that crap over there. <laughs> it is also very, very intensive, especially when you start shooting at it. Uh, oh, I, I have a, uh, a little pistol. How do I How do I use the pistol? Hello? Oh, there. Wait, wait. Oh, it's only when I'm here that he, he gets his pistol out. I don't... How? I'm so confused. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, shoot at the water here. As you can see, not a problem. It's still a high refresh rate experience. Gets like down to 140s, maybe 130s at the minimum. Since DLSS quality makes the image look pretty blurry in this game, this is one of the weakest implementations of DLSS actually, uh, and the FPS are already so high, I am gonna try the frame generation stuff instead, okay? So here we go. Capture card is gone. Okay, all good. It's enabled. And instead of get... Oh my god, okay. We're up to 200 plus frames per second. That's actually pretty insane, guys. Oh, oh, hello there. 
Okay, let's not try to, to hit them with a sniper rifle. I'm actually going to push them now. Uh, now, the problem with frame generation is that the input lag is noticeably higher than it was before. And that's not something that you want to be high. Of course, FPS are higher as well. It's going to be smoother if you have like a... A 144 hertz monitor, you can, or a 240 hertz monitor, actually. A 144 hertz monitor, you wouldn't really notice much of a difference. But at 240 hertz, you can notice the difference in smoothness. But still, this is not something that I would um, trade, you know. The lower input lag is much more valuable than the higher FPS here in this game. When you're talking about like 150 plus frames per second compared to 200 plus frames per second. I would take the other experience all day long and... Uh, yeah, just, just don't use frame generation. It's a very nice technology for, like, single-player titles, and it helps make the games feel a lot smoother in most cases. But in this one, in competitive shooters in general, like, same thing goes for, like, the finals. Yeah, I... I wouldn't really use this. Let's move on to 1440p resolution, which is very adequate for a 4070. Here we go, 2560 by 1440, Fidelity FX cast 50% is being utilized, and the frame generation is turned off at the moment, still using extreme settings preset, and look at that, it's still good for a high refresh rate experience, my friends. It's still gonna be buttery smooth. Although, it's not gonna max out a 144Hz monitor anymore. You can clearly see that oh there we go did i get him yes <laughs> nice <laughs> but yeah it's not gonna max out a 144 hertz monitor anymore oh come on oh, i downed you twice my friend you don't stand a chance against el crispo but this is still a buttery buttery smooth experience you shouldn't really uh have a problem playing like this unless you are super super competitive but in that case just play on low settings <laughs> It's overtime time, by the way, so I guess we're going to test DLSS in the next one, as well as frame generation here for a little bit. Um, but yeah, the native resolution experience is fantastic still, with 144 FPS average. Come on, come on, okay. Peek me again, you bastards. They're all scared of me. Let's go. Guys. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He had a better sniper rifle. Maybe I should swap it. Because this one kind of sucks, right? <laughs> Overtime is almost done. I guess we... Ouch. <laughs> well, explosion. We got explosion and everything. Variety in the benchmark, yes. Okay, this time I'm actually going to utilize DLSS on quality, just to see if we can achieve those 144 frames per second without introducing any input lag first. All right, we're dropping again. Look at that, getting 140s here. Yeah, at this point, I doubt it's going to drop from 100 FPS like we saw at native resolution. It should be at 100 plus all of the time let's shoot the water though all right yep not dropping guys not even touching like a hundred ish fps between 100 and 110 yeah this is pretty good now for those of you that want a competitive experience but still want the good visual fidelity the lss quality at 1440p looks way better than the lss quality at 1080p as well so i would have no problems utilizing it here at this resolution although it does look a little bit just slightly softer than it did with uh, fidelity fx cas enabled also with dlss we can now take full advantage of a 165 hertz monitor as well as 144 hertz monitor of course it will stay above 144 most of the time and at around 165 um, very often since our averages are around that so it's gonna be a buttery buttery smooth experience still not good for 240 hertz but i mean at um, the low settings for example it should get us those 240 fps even in the 1440p resolution guys oh come on who killed us Ah, oh, camping bastard, look at that. He was looking at us for a long time. Okay. Oh, he's just oh, he's just standing there. All right, I'm going to try my luck here. I know there are quite a few enemies on top of this building. Let's see what we can do. There's one there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he's down. Oh, my God. We are killed by the same guy camping on the same rooftop. He, he doesn't leave that area. Look at him. 
Oh, I hate those people so much here in Call of Duty. <laughs> There's a guy there. Come on. Come on. Just die already. Gosh, damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Up, 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 up. All right, got him. <laughs> Oop, no, 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 no. Reload. Come on. Come on. Yes. No. Gosh. <laughs> That was terrible. You know what? I'm dying too much. I'm just going to stop it right there. I think that was a good benchmark for the LSS already. We got 155 average. And it's time to test it with the LSS and frame generation on top. Here we go. This is it, guys. With the frame generation right here. And instantly, again, I can tell the difference in input lag. So... Even though we're well above 100 frames per second, it's still noticeable, guys. It's not completely instant like it was before. And I would much rather have even like the native resolution experience than this. Come on, come on. Can I, can I, can I? No? No, of course not. It's also a little bit blurrier than it was before. I can definitely notice that, but it shouldn't really matter to your experience visually. Now, over here... It still drops into the 130s and 120s as well. So it's basically getting the same FPS as before without frame generation. Obviously, the averages are going to be a little bit higher as we play. Uh, but in terms of minimum FPS, they're about the same with the added input lag. It's not good, <laughs> okay? Again, it's very nice technology for single-player games. In multiplayer, I think it has no place in them. So that's why I'm going to finish it right there for 1440p, and I'm going to move on to 4K resolution. And here we have it, 3840 by 2160 using the same extreme settings, no upscaling or sharpening this time around, because at 4K, I don't really feel the need to use uh, Fidelity FX CAS. And look at how sharp that is, dude. I can see the little lines over there. That wasn't seeable, I think, at 1440p and lower. And look at that, my friends, we're still above 60 frames per second at 4K extreme settings, even close to the water, look at that. Oh yes, yeah. so this is definitely not a high refresh rate experience anymore at this point, but this is pretty good still. I mean, when we shoot this, it might drop, yep, it does drop into the 50s, so you would be better off using like DLSS quality, for example, or maybe drop a couple of settings like the water quality, that should fix it. But if you want to max it out completely, expect a few drops only close to the water. Uh, there's a guy right there. It's very good to spot people at the distance at 4K resolution. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? Oh, hey. What the heck is happening? Okay, that's, that's just an airstrike. Let's wait it out. Yes, guy there. Oh, come on. Well, you know what? I'm not sure how many people are going to be playing at 60 hertz with a 4K monitor. That was a nice kill, finally. No! No, no, no! Damn it, mate! They're everywhere! Now, as I was saying, if you have a 60 hertz 4K monitor, this is more than enough. 4070 will be playing this game absolutely fine, as you can see, at above 60 FPS. Aside from if you are shooting the water, basically. Um, so it's a pretty nice experience, but I'm not really sure how many people are playing at 4K and 60 hertz, you know, with a, an expensive GPU like this. You should definitely aim for 1440p high refresh rate, or and maybe even 4K high refresh rate if you are willing to lower some settings, of course. This seems like a nice place for us to change the settings, actually, and enable some DLSS. Here we go, DLSS quality first. This shouldn't really bump up our FPS by a lot, but it will look basically the same as native resolution. It's a little bit sharper, actually, since we got some sharpening going on this time around. Is he still there? Hello? What? Where did he go? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I'm confused. Did he just quit the game? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, really nice results here from the 4070 so far. A little bit of more stuttering than what we've seen so far, by the way. That frame time graph has a few little spikes. They're almost not noticeable, but I can feel them sometimes. Good thing is, if you restart the game, those stutters will be gone. So it's not really a big issue again. You just got to keep restarting between rounds and stuff like that. Like uh, you play a match, restart, you play another match, restart, whatever. It, same thing happened with my RTX 
GTX 4080 and someone actually pointed it out in the comments section and I tried it uh, before starting recording. Uh, come on! And it, it does fix it. The restart does fix it. <laughs> Jesus. What? Okay. Damn it. How did he get me? I had sniper rifle. I'm so bad. Here we are getting 70s now instead of 60s and shooting the water drops us into the 60s instead of the 50s. So again, this is going to be that 60 plus FPS experience all of the time. Uh, let me just reload this and select another DLSS setting here. If all you want is 60 plus quality will do it just fine, but what if you want a little bit higher refresh rate of an experience, performance is there for you. 80s is the minimum now, and performance DLSS at 4K actually looks really decent still. You can tell the difference, obviously, between quality and performance and native resolution as well, but it is minor. If you have a 32-inch monitor or a smaller size at 4K, performance DLSS will look pretty good and sharp. Okay, there's a guy there and another one there. I will kill this one. Seems like this one was the camping bastard before the other one. Or maybe not. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh! Hi! Oh, hi! A couple of them! There are a couple of them! Oh my god! I suck! Okay. Uh, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't have any shields, though. Or armor. Nice, I got him. <laughs> oh, that was close. No, another one! Okay, now I got this, guys. Now I got this. There's one there. Yes! He dead! It wasn't me, but he's dead. I got him now. I guess what we're doing represents a bit better what people will do in this game. Just stand here with a sniper rifle, right? <laughs> and that's it. Where are they? Come on, show yourselves. I really don't like to camp like this, guys. I'm just gonna go. I don't care. It's overtime as well. We're almost done here. Um, enabling FG, by the way, won't really make much of a difference at 4K resolution. I'm still gonna try it out, but... Uh, I've seen that with these lower end 40 series, lower ends than like 4090 and 48, it doesn't really matter too much. FG does a good job at like 4K, of course. There we go. Got him, you bastard. So I'll keep the LSS on performance, enable frame generation. Oh my gosh, yeah, the input lag right now is kind of insane compared to what it was before. I mean, it's gonna be usable if you get used to it, don't get me wrong. But it's just not worth it, in my opinion. And we get around, what, like 10 more FPS, if that, <laughs> on average. 1% lows are probably going to be a little bit smoothed out as well, because FG gets rid of the little stutters that we were seeing before, and little frame time spikes. It actually does a really nice job in that regard as well. But this is not something I would consider. Much higher input lag for 10 more FPS is not worth it in my book in a game like this at least. Enemy come on, come on. Oh my god. Uh, I need to tweak this weapon a little bit more to get better recoil out of it. Oh, we got one there, nice. And that was it for 4K. Pretty nice results in my opinion. It's definitely still playable, although not super high refresh rate, but you can get close to that high refresh rate experience with performance DLSS, which still looks decent, so not bad. Now it's time to make it unplayable. We're playing at 8 K resolution, 7680 by 4320, that's four times 4K, it's like using four 4K monitors. And uh, I'm still using the same extreme settings, but I lowered the texture resolution to low, because otherwise we wouldn't have much VRAM to work with, and we'd just get like five FPS. <laughs> DLSS as well as frame generation are turned off, and let's try it like this. Okay, here we are, it's exactly 24 FPS at times. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Shooting the water drops us into the teens. That's way worse than what we saw with the 4080. The 4080 was actually getting 30 plus all of the time using these settings, but DLSS on performance usually does a really nice job here at 8K resolution, making it look pretty much the same as native res. I can't tell a difference whatsoever, and I am running this on a 42-inch monitor once again. I'm also utilizing NVIDIA's DSR to run 8K over here, so it's not a native 8K panel, but I can tell the difference in sharpness compared to 4K still because of the huge size of this monitor. And 
and the DLSS performance just looks exactly the same. There is no shimmering anywhere. The noise is also much reduced compared to other resolutions, but here with DLSS performance, you can see a little tiny bit of noise still, although right now I would consider it pretty negligible. So hey, if you don't like the noise on the water in this game, 8K is the way to go, my friends. <laughs> if you want to like flex on your friends or something like that, that you can actually run gam games at uh, 8K with the LSS performance, so it's not really 8K. But with 8K visuals, well, you can do so. <gasps> While retaining playable FPS. Not amazing, but these are playable FPS. Thank God for the auto-aim while meleeing in this game. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten that kill. So that's been it for this one, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in low settings instead of extreme settings for competitive play, you know, I will have that competitive settings video tomorrow. And catch you guys then. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.